What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to pick up where we left off, we are intercepting some of these Swedish armies that are behind our lines. Fortunately they are very depleted, so we should be able to sweep them aside fairly easily and continue our advance eastward. So let's take them out. It would be, it's definitely in our interest to destroy them with as few casualties as possible because we do have quite a significant... Uh, push by the Russians coming in but hopefully our assault around the north of Russia will have thrown them off balance somewhat so that might cause them to have to retreat certain forces okay so it's good artillery I'm tempted to make a okay, split my guns up because I don't know exactly where we have one large army well we have one depleted army and then we have a reinforcing army coming in behind that so I think I want my guns in a safe position behind the line my infantry deployed up quite generically my cavalry protecting the flanks because I don't know where the reinforcing army is coming from straight ahead Okay, well, because they are so depleted, we may as well push up. Rather than waiting for them to come to us. Already a lot of quicklime coming in. Dragoons are routing. Another regiment of horse are routing. So here are the reinforcements coming in. Again, they're all depleted as well. Looks like we've got some sound bugs, sound shenanigans at play at the moment, despite the the drumming of the drums. Let's deploy my men like so. You, what are you doing? My gunner captain's pushing up to make sure everything is in order before he commits his men. Those guys are attempting to get some cheeky hits on my infantry. Although they're going to get caught by my square. I oh, know they're not. My household cavalry will deal with them. Let's switch these guys. Let's push those guys in. Those guys can go hit the general okay so that's you men hit the general's bodyguard let's limber up our howitzers the dragoons are routed push this line up push these men up I guess it's within our interest to knock out these artillery crews because fortunately they have routed as an actual unit rather than as just a crew running away. You intercept the original of course. Those men come over here and hit the third lancers, although it looks like the general's been killed. Send this guy, this unit forward to go knock out that howitzer regiment. My household cavalry can deal with the regiment of horse. Actually, you probably guys probably want to go up to about there. So then let's push these guys up like so to threaten the right flank. You men can probably push up to this ridge line here. Yeah, that regiment of horse has been shattered as well. Howitzers can trundle up. My artillery still has oodles of range to focus on the 1st Dragoon Regiment. The cavalry has been knocked out on the right. So if these guys can cause the 21st Regiment of Militia to pivot before my men get into range, that would be great. Here comes my general. Oh, 
ultimately it'd probably be useful if I could limber my guns up and move them up. It probably means they will not likely see action for the rest of the battle. Let's bring my cavalry back. They do very much like having my cavalry as a supporting arm for my infantry line. If we can make the 21st route, which they have, then you men can push up. My line of infantry all drop into square, although it looks like it's not really needed. But if I run my cavalry behind the line, although to be fair, that unit of light horse I don't really care. Select that cavalry. Let's fight the general's bodyguard. These men have ran through the square completely. That general's bodyguard's charging a square formation. You guys can get out of square and actually form that line. Go on, men. You guys fight the light horse. My regiment of horse will beat them. That's another enemy general kill. Let's bring my cavalry on the left back to go make sure we do win this fight. Get you guys out of square fighting against the 8th Regiment of Foot. All of you guys can just... Uh, no, not all. Yeah. There we go. So who's back here? Not very much stuff. Not enough to stop a Household Cavalry unit and a Regiment of Horse. There's a Horse Guard unit. There's only 38 of them remaining. go those men have cleaned out those chaps you guys have made a bad move charging my charging unit of marines the light horse have uh, broken, so let's just push my cavalry up again. Use them to knock out that unit of Eastern European mercenaries. Should really have charged you guys, rather than running you up. So my regiment of horse is engaging enemy horse guards, so I do need my household cavalry to win here. was a bit a bit silly running my just running my cavalry into the enemy formation rather than charging them 12th have been broken 31st have also been broken my regiment of horse charged their provincial cav let's get this cavalry over here so my regiment of horse is not probably going to do well against the first horse guards which is a shame but it's not a inevitable it's not it's not a deal it's not a massive problem yeah cause the loss of the cavalry on that flank so let's charge up the rest of my cavalry with the bulk of my remaining forces Get involved. I 
or something else. So some of my guns weren't even moving. My characters are in position, but what does that even matter now? Drag them from their horses. They think they are winning decisively, but I am afraid they are not. They're likely doing some more, more damage than I would like, um, but I think it would be worthwhile. Because these horse guards, once they rout, then they will fall very quickly indeed. you keep attacking those guys make sure everyone keeps attacking the horse guard because they're all currently all stuck within our bubble of men hey blunderbuss shotgunners were hiding poor souls charged by or ran into by two units of marines uh, you try and knock out that last cavalryman there we go Oh, it's in the battle there. That was a fairly decisive battle. We do have another force that can sweep in to clean up as needed. So, yeah, exactly. So those men replenish. Get back to Warsaw. Something else can probably use. If, if these guys can leave Berlin, which they can, I can move this army east send this army to go clean up because that army's used all its movement points yep you men push up you are plenishing so go back up this force here at Königsberg you need replenishment so the Russians are acutely aware of what's going on you're Pushing around there, you are holding. We have men up here in the rear of Russia to push around. Can you men leave Crimea? Probably not, because by the looks of it, they're still yeah, we're getting some dragoons. But by the looks of it, they are still. Oh, this is quite a concentration of troops. Let's make sure you're nearby. The idea is you might be able to make them lose a lot of men there. But then again, as will we. So at Vienna, you no longer need your dragoons. You're pushing up to join the forces here at Klausenberg, which could do with better roads to facilitate the transport of troops. Vienna, pick up. Start picking up some armies, or start picking up troops, or creating armies, I should say, rather than picking up armies. There we go, then you need artillery, pick up a unit of riflemen. Okay, so this fleet can now leave here, because there's only one port we don't control, and that's Britain. Actually, we don't own... Not. Oh no, sorry. Uh, I want to leave. I do want to keep them here because I do not want the Ottomans to cross into here. You guys are still replenishing. Make sure Greece. Make sure. Uh, yeah, you're, you're currently creating a new army. That's not necessarily what we want. But look at they're all hunkering down. You're burning a church school. Malta's Malta that needs to be depleted or destroyed those the Swedes in Sicily are still holding so right now we need to keep even though we've established that the African native infantry isn't the best thing to do here let's keep filling our up filling our armies up with men both <laughs> these guys may end up um, just getting completely engulfed and destroyed which if they do they do Okay, need to keep need to be ready to move on Bavaria. 
can we do? We need to just pretty much push in all our armies at once and attack the city. Okay, you are nearly done. You need artillery. Now I can get a rifleman. I'm going to go get some more here. Two riflemen. So three howitzers, two riflemen. One, two, three. Two riflemen. Get a general. Means you can get one more unit. Probably going to be an engineer. That's another force there. What we should probably be doing is keep recruiting troops in England and keep funneling them around the north, around to help the armies near Russia. Probably be a good idea. Because it looks like we're probably going to start seeing. Well, we're going to start getting a bottlenecked over here. Although I could, like, push up, build a fort here, garrison it with a small amount of troops. What I do want to do, I think, is take Cidonio Antonelli and let's go and assault and take the city of Konigsberg. Let's keep pushing in. I'm hoping my front line against the Russians will just hold while I take advantage of their less defended rear areas. I think that's what I want to do. Let's make a fairly, fairly simple entrance because they don't have any, they don't have any uh, mortars to deal with. Bit of a render glitch there. These men are going to push around on the right. These men are going to go straight, or going to go towards the breach and also up onto the shoulders of the breach potentially. So I know you guys have, have, have pointed out in the past that I can just if I deploy the howitzer there and get more kills. But sometimes, I mean, quick climb's really good, and I've already got a really good way of using quick climb. So it kind of feels like I don't. I mean, still already they've done a load of a lot of good work. Um, so sometimes optimizing quick climb use isn't necessarily strictly needed especially in situations like this where we're just going to blow a hole in the wall because like I'm speeding up time because right now it's just artillery going off there's no strategy no cleverness it's just using my guns actually this is, this is a very fresh unit fresh army that has no elites so I'd like to change that I mean, yes, yeah, so you start to see things like this emerging where you you can already get some really good kills with quicklime. It's not strictly necessary. I mean, it's definitely optimal to do that. If you were attacking a city that you needed to win, that's probably the way to do it. Um, but I'm I'm not entirely bothered about it because I've got a strategy that generally works. Like, look. Don't worry about matching, making sure everything is perfect. Look, they lost half that infantry unit. There's no... You're not so worried about making sure you get the... The kills along the wall the way you want them. When you can just get kills everywhere else. I mean, that doesn't really make sense, but... The point is sound, I think. So the thing is with Sweden is they do have a they get they are better in melee than regular troops than regular the troops of regular nations. So I'm going to want to keep my artillery firing on the breach. I'm probably going to lose some of my men to that. But look, look how they've crowded down here. I don't. Just, 
that's just quick claim paradise. Especially is what's over here. Line, militia. Well, you guys deploy. Some great artillery shots here. Going straight down and mowing down a bunch of the 15th. And then these four units can push up. Some of the shots might miss, but... You are going to get some good shots like that. get some of these men to attack the walls. I mean, you guys can attack the gate, and these guys are just going to uh, wait their turn. These men are going to pour musket fire into the breach. God damn. You might actually climb that section of the wall. Yeah, look at that. Does, does a quick claim use need to be more optimised than that? I mean, it definitely can be. I see that. But does it need to be? Those of the 15th are marching out to accept their doom. It's a brave officer as his men fall all around him. Not that they get even broken. They're shattered. More men are coming out. So at least if these guys try and charge west, we've got a bit of a blocking force of two units of line. There they go. They know the fortress is going to be taken. Oh god. Shattered. So these guys were going to climb up to pour fire into the breach, but now it's kind of not needed. You guys just take position up here. These guys secure the gate. I can pour my troops in and sweep them off of the center. Okay, the 96th can advance. Turn off my howitzers, get my other artillery to shoot at that unit of garrison provincial line. Get my other units in. The gatehouse is taken. Those men can charge in. So one unit can tank the 13th, the other units can just push through. Good hit there for the garrison militia. There we go, these men are just going to storm past. They've been given their orders. Their orders are to form up. Engage the centre. Not to fight in the breach. Thirteenth is engaged. So let's form these guys up like so. If they all make it in without some of them bugging out. Oh, the 3rd Regiment won't know what's coming to them. Oh, we've got some lagging. There we go, it's resolved itself. 
Looks like they are trying to... They're trying to charge into my guys. Let's charge these guys down off the wall into that line infantry as well. You men. To be honest, they're not in the centre, so just stand on it. You men charge the militia. You men just get off the wall. Look at this brilliant tactical positioning from the Swedish. They're using the French style of war. They're in column. What about all those guys? Oh, they die. That's what happens to those guys. Stop my howitzers from firing. Now these men are going to fall. The storming of the Swedish of the Italian infantry. I say the Swiss infantry. There we go. As the first is shot down to a man. There goes the captain commanding the garrison. This guy is still... Uh, <laughs> he hunkered down. Cavalry haven't really been used. Hit the garrison militia. That man killed one of my Italian friends. This guy. Let's see what happens to him. Is he going to get jabbed? There, that guy also killed an Italian. Guard mode off. Kill them. Kill them all. I'm getting swamped. Well, the 3rd Regiment as well are at risk of just being eviscerated. Yeah, some of the windows in this building have been shot out from misses. They finally realise they're under fire. Poor souls. Swarm, swarm, attack pattern alpha. Awesome. Still a unit up there, but... There we go. Konigsberg is ours. So we are at risk of being immediately counterattacked by the Russians. But that's why you have reinforcements nearby. So then my spy. Don't waste your time trying to kill the enemy. You've got, you've got a spy going on to Moscow anyway. Get a spy on the way to Kazan. Kiev is under observation. Your are replenishing, you desperately need troops. Should send you guys up there immediately. Uh, let's upgrade you, build you into a church school. I mean, we've already. Oh no, that's for Gdansk. Okay. So you men need to replenish. You guys need to replenish. Can the, the, the Gdansk garrison needs to that's hunker down. Nice Lots of my offensive troops just need to replenish. Let's bring you guys down here because it looks like you're going to go raid one of my ports, you swine hunt. Stockholm itself is well provisioned. There are some Russians to the north, but I can't really do anything about most of them. Okay, let's hit end turn. So let's keep my spy network rolling on. At least with my priest there, I should be causing quite a bit of religious uh, stress within the Ankara region. Or the Anatolian region. Don't worry, soon there will not be any schools for you to raid. 
all of the knowledge that we can learn will have been learned. They're gathering their strength. I mean, if there's one thing you definitely can't accuse Russia of being, it's weak. Militarily weak, anyway. Politically weak, potentially. But let's see. No, oh, they're pushing. They've not given up, though. That's the important thing. Yeah, they can raid like the little scamps they are, as much as they like. Raids aren't the problem. The problem is their actual armies. Hey, the Swedes are going to jump out and hit one of our sloops. And they lost a ship for it. Hey, they're also going to hit another sloop. Let's see if they lose that. Lose a ship to that sloop. Nah. Say la vie. Just they don't really know what they want to do. They're offering 130 grand for peace. No. <laughs> right, okay. Ooh, it's just an, just mano a mano. That's pretty good. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for if suspiciously even and delightful battle from my perspective against a single Swedish army. Cheers everyone.